Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. My name is Zane Van Hook here at Dab Pumps, and today we will be disassembling the 220 to 240 volt Easy Box and installing a new PCB board and then reassembling the pump back. So, first things first, remove the top cover off. And then we will go ahead and use our star bit to remove the star bit screws out of the pump. Now we will remove the shaft seal protection and the priming port. And that should free up the top of the pump. And it should, oh, I forgot two screws near the priming port. Remove the top. We will go down here underneath and remove these two star bit screws down here. And that should free up the face plate of the pump as so. We'll go ahead and unplug the screen from the pump. And then for this one, guys, we only really need to remove one side plate off of the pump. I prefer doing it on the um, discharge side of the pump. It's a little bit easier to do. Now, for this procedure, we'll need a couple different tools. Uh, you'll need two different types of torque screws. Um, along with the safety harness on the side, we'll still need that star bit screw. So we'll go ahead and remove that one first. And we can simply just tug on that wire a little bit and that should free up the safety harness there. Now we will go ahead and unplug all of our connections to the PCB board. Then we'll go ahead and take off the covers to the wiring. And then we will go ahead and get started. So when dealing with the PCB board guys, what we like to do is as much as possible use hand tools because the board itself is so sensitive and it is the brains of the actual pump. So we like to just take our time and just remove everything carefully from the actual pump. So two Phillips head screws right here. Go ahead and loosen those up. Now we'll use one of those torques and remove the main wiring from the top. Set this off to the side with the screw in it. Um, let's go ahead and grab our other torque bit. And there's two tiny torque bits that sit down inside of here, guys. And that secures it to the actual pump body on the back. Now that those are loose, you'll need a small flathead bit to remove the wiring from the actual pump. So just a couple screws to the left, guys, and it should free everything up right there.
this. So I always like to keep that wire right there like that. That way you don't get any of the wiring mixed up. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Easy as that. Go ahead and unclip that. Should be able to simply remove the board. It looks like I did not get that screw out all the way. There we go. And this is the main PCB board. Now, you can find the heat heat sink tape right here, guys. You can touch that, and if it has a moisture to it, um, the heat sink tape should be fine. If it is dried out, I would recommend to apply some more. Um, and kind of spread it evenly throughout the, on top of that piece. Now, the actual PCB board that you will be sent comes with the following. So the board itself is already assembled as so. You have your two covers here for the wiring, and then it comes with the screws that go into the actual board itself. Um, it does not come with the heat sink tape on the back of this. So I would recommend maybe getting a little bit more uh, just in case. Um, and then you should be good otherwise. So let's go ahead and put the new board in. Okay. So we'll go here. All right, all tight there. And I like to try to go in the same order that we went removing. So basically just reversing. So go ahead and set those wires in there. Definitely don't want to over tighten, just snug enough. wiring down here. covers back on. So you can kind of see down here guys, this is just a simple clip into the wiring down here. It just fits tug. And then on this wiring case up here, you'll see the four small dimples down here that align perfectly with the wiring as so. We'll go ahead and plug this main wire back in. And guys, sometimes that can be a little tricky uh, to pull off. So you can use um, a flathead screwdriver down here at the base and it will simply just pop off. Just make sure we're not scraping the board. Um, or what I recommend using personally is um, just needle nose pliers to just remove that off the top. Um, so now let's go ahead and plug our wiring back in and notice that there's two separate wires guys so you can't really mix them up here um, and they are color coded as far as the white connection the um, uh, the female end is the same color as the male end here and vice versa okay now let's go ahead and put our washer and screw back in here. Let's go ahead. Screw on like 
like so. And we'll do the same thing for down here. go ahead and put this wiring harness back on here to safely secure this. You can kind of speed it up here, guys, but the closer you get to the board, you kind of want to go a little bit slower just because we are dealing with the main electronics of the pump. So once we see that clip start to go down, like that right there, just sensitive enough to lock in. Now let's grab that last torque screw, secure this these two screws up here guys and same thing once you feel it getting a little bit tight don't over tighten it so we just want it to remain secure We can go ahead and take the wiring harness for the cable here and go ahead and lock this back in. So you'll see on the side guys, there's that entrance hole there. And then we will simply tuck that bad boy right there and then secure the wiring as so. power tools. Okay, that's locked in. So guys, the hard part is done. So now we can go ahead and assemble the pump back. So go ahead and tuck that cable as so. Side plate. Nice and secure. Now we can go ahead and hook our screen back up. So connecting it down here on the side. As so. And guys, sometimes you kind of got to pat it down up here just to make sure everything's in line and make sure that all that wiring is tucked away because if the wiring isn't tucked away, then the pump will not be held on tightly. So, two screws on the bottom here.
now we can put the top cover back on. So making sure that everything's lined up, guys, priming port is located down here. Actually, let's go ahead and remove the last couple of screws off of the top plate. It should fit securely as so. Again, side plate, everything lined up. Perfect. The priming port. Just be careful when putting these things in, guys, because with that priming port being right there as well, definitely don't want to drop the screw down on that. Then our last screw. back on top and just like that our new PCB board is back intact with our easy box 220 240 volt if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach out to us via email phone Instagram anything like that feel free to reach out to us at any time and we appreciate it y'all have a great day let us know if we can do anything for you